Don't go losing them again. I won't. <laughs> come on, Gracie. Come on, girls. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How do you do, my dear Mrs. Peace? How do you do, Mr. Barnaby? And how is your charming daughter, Miss Bo Peace? Very well, thank you. Then may I be permitted to pay my respects? Sorry. But she's out sending her sheep. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, my pretty little butterfly. Good morning, Mr. Barnett. I bring you a little bouquet, a fragrant token of my deep devotion. Thank you very much, Mr. Barnett. And now I'll have to leave you, sir. My, my sheep are... Nay, I have long admired you, gazed with wonder on your sweet and maidenly virtue, marveled at your tender loveliness. In short, I'm asking you to become my wife. I... I'm sorry, Mr. Barnaby, and I hope you won't think me ungrateful, but... I'm a very rich man, my dear. Please. Think carefully, child, lest I resort to other means. That would be an ugly way to win a pretty wife. I would marry you if you were young, which you can't be. If you were honest, which you never were. And if you were about to die tomorrow, which is too much to hope for. We shall meet again, my pretty little buttercup. And then you will sing to a different tune. <laughs> Please 
Lucy. Curly. I came back to remind you that your little financial obligation... You mean the mortgage? ...is due today. But couldn't you give me just a little more time? I'm sorry. The law must take its course. I shall be back shortly. <laughs> You'll be late for work. We're coming. Good morning, Mother Peep. Oh, good morning, Alice. <laughs> when you come on, it's almost 8 o'clock. Why, well, I thought I left you upstairs in the bedroom. You did. Well, how'd you get down here? I fell out the window. Good morning, Mother Peep. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning, Stan. Never mind, good morning. Come on and let's go. Wait a minute. I forgot something. I'll be right down. Will you come on? Do you want us to be late for work? Don't forget your lunch, Ollie. Well, what's the matter, Mother Peep? Well, I've got bad news for you. Bad news? I'm afraid you two boys will have to find some other place to live. Well, what do you mean? That old skinflint Barnaby holds a mortgage against this shoe. It's due today, and I haven't got the money to pay him. And we'll all be turned out into the street. Stanley, go upstairs and get my money box. Eh? Go get my money box. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to give you all of my savings, and I'll get the rest of it from our master, the toy maker. No one's going to throw you out of this shoe. Oh, I can't let you do such a thing. Tut, 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 tarut. One good turn deserves another. Now smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. I borrowed it. I know you borrowed it. But what did you borrow it for? Well, you see, I had to buy some more peewees. I lost three of them playing with little Jack Horner. Had to Any... buy some more peewees. <clears throat> well, don't you mind, Mother Peep. I'll get the full amount from the toy maker. Oh, you boys mustn't go into debt on my account. Listen, when the toy maker finds out that Barnaby's up to his old tricks again, he'll give me the full amount without any trouble. Oh, can I depend on that? Why, of course you can. Why, you know the toy maker and I are just like that. Aren't we, Stanley? Are you? Why, certainly. Which is you? Why, this one right... Never mind which is you. Come on, let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> don't forget your lunch. Oh, hi. And don't you worry. No, I Goodbye. won't. I won't. Goodbye, boys. Just a moment. What is this peewee business you've been spending all of my money on? Would you like to see it? Why, certainly I'd like to see it. After all the money it's cost me, I think I'm entitled to know what it's all about. All right, look. What do you think of that? Pipple. That's the silliest thing I have ever seen. Try it. I don't want to try it. Why, can't you do it? Well, certainly I can't. What do you mean, can I do it? Give me that stick. Get over there. It's a certainty that anything you can do, I can do. Uh-uh. What, for instance?
Just a moment. Come on, we'll be late for work. Say, listen, what, when you get that money from the toy maker, will you borrow a little extra for me? What for? Well, I lost me peewee, and I'll have to get some more. Get in here now, we'll be peewee. Master. What do you mean, good morning? You know you're half an hour late? If this happens again, it means instant dismissal. Get to work! Say, aren't you going to ask him about the money to pay off the mortgage? I can't ask him now. Don't you see what a bad humor he's in? Well, if we don't get that money, Mother Peep's going to be turned out of the shoe and she won't have any place to sleep. We can't let her do that. Why, if I ask him now, he'd jump right down my throat. But I thought you and he were just like that. We are. Well, why don't you ask him? Why don't you ask him? Well, I can't ask him. Why? Well, he and I are just like that. Oh, don't be silly. He likes you better than he does me. Does he? Yeah. He told me he did. Did he? Yes. Oh, Master. What? Ollie wants to speak to you. Well, what is it? Well, could I speak to you privately, please, sir? I've got a very important question I want to ask you. Don't bother me now. Can't you see that I'm busy? Go on with your work. Well, if you knew how important it was, you'd see me privately, because if you... shut up and go on with your work? What is the matter, little Bo Peep? I have been careless and lost my sheep. Say, have you seen them, Jack and Jill, during your journey up the hill? They're not on the hill, I'm sorry, my wood. Did you meet up with them, Red Don't cry. 
Tom Tucker may know Simon or Peter or Bobby found. You've lost them before, haven't you? As a matter of fact, last month you lost them five times. Oh, I couldn't have. Yes, you did. And four times the month before that. You see, you're getting worse. What you need is someone to help you look after the darn things. Who, for instance? Oh, he'd have to be most unusual, energetic, resourceful, and with any amount of patience. A fellow sort of, uh, well, like me. <laughs> Not interested? Not even a little bit? <laughs> then I'll just keep you there until you are interested.
order coming along. Everything is in fine shape. Good. Yeah. Are you coming in? Yes, just a moment. <laughs> All right. I will be conditioned. Now run along, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. How's everything? And how are my two boys? Hello, Mr. Sandy. <laughs> Stay wait until you see the wooden soldiers we made for you. The finest piece of work we've ever turned out. Splendid. Yeah, Ollie, go and bring one of them in. Yes, sir. You better help me. They're heavy. We'll have them right out, Mr. Sandy. <laughs> You'll get the surprise of your life. Don't try to lift it. All you have to do is press the button in the back, and it walks out by itself. Isn't it wonderful? It does everything but talk. Wonderful, yes. But not what I ordered. What do you mean? I ordered 600 soldiers at one foot high. What? You took that order. What was it? I thought you said 100 soldiers at six foot high. <laughs> you got the order all wrong. I couldn't give those things to my children to play with. <laughs> Put it back in the box and get out of here. You're through. Here's another mess. Your partner says you're writing to attend to the thing in the right way in the place. Well, well, I couldn't. Well, if you'd have been watching what you were doing, you well, wouldn't have done this into it. Come out of there. Not you. It's for him. Trouble with you. Put that thing back in the box, sir. Get out of here. Okay, get it right back right now. I've got the package. Get out of there. Stop it. Stop it. Do something. Stop it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You blithering idiots! Now get out and stay out. Yes, sir. Aren't you going to ask him about the money for the mortgage? What's that? Uh, just skip it. This is a fine time to ask for money. Oh, Nancy, I'm so happy. Tom Tom is asking me to become his bride. My child. And with your permission, we'd like to be married. Why, of course, darling. My blessings are with you. And may nothing ever happen to mar your happiness. Oh, Mumsy, you're an angel. <laughs> Mr. Barnaby, when you enter my house, I'll trouble you to knock. Your house, I could give you. Did you say your house? Yes, mine. Knock until this little debt is fulfilled. Why, Mother, what does this mean? It means, my dear, that unless this mortgage is paid, you will all be thrown out into the street, of course. <laughs> we could compromise. Compromise? Yes. Should your daughter reconsider my generous offer to become my wife, we could forget this little matter. And it could be her wedding present. Mommy. Don't worry, darling. Nothing like that will ever happen. Then let us get down to business. Mr. Barnaby, you can make out your receipt. You'll be paid in full right now. Oh, here you are, boys. Just in time. 
This wretched man seems to think that we haven't got the money to pay off the mortgage. But we have, haven't we? <laughs> haven't we, boys? Well, what's the matter? Didn't you get the money? No, you see, Ollie made a mistake. A mistake? He and the toy maker are not like that, are you? Oh. Then I take it, madam. You cannot meet your lawful obligation, in which case I shall bid you good day. Foreclosure papers will be served in due course. Oh, you're not really going to throw us into the street? Much as it pains me, I'm sorry. No! Oh, 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 what shall I do? What shall I do? If only he didn't have that mortgage. Don't you worry, Mother Peep. Stanny and me will find a way to get the mortgage from that old buzzard. He sure is an old buzzard. You know, if he thinks he's going to throw this shoe into the street, he's going to be mistaken. He certainly is. You know what I'd like to do? What? I'd like to put on this shoe and kick him right in the pants. <clears throat> then I'd give... <clears throat> What happened? Barnaby clunked you. Open that window. Barnaby's house and be sure no one sees you. Okay. And be careful. Shh. We're here. So far, so good. It wasn't so far. We just came across the street. Ring the bell. It wasn't so far. <clears throat> Who is it? It's me. What do you want at this hour of the night? Well, you see, Ollie and I are sorry for what happened this afternoon. And just to show you we're not mad at you, we brought you a little Christmas present. It's from me and from Ollie. Christmas present in the middle of July? Oh, oh, yes, you see, we always do our Christmas shopping early. If you'll open the door, I'll bring it right in for you. I'll be right down. Damn, he's going to let us in. That's fine. Now, don't forget, when he goes to bed, you give me the signal. Then I'll get out of the box, open the door, and let you in. <laughs> then we'll get the mortgage. So far, so good.
What is it? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell me? No, you see, it's a surprise. And it mustn't be open till Christmas. See? Do not open until Christmas. Well, that's very nice of you. It is, isn't it? Well, good night, Mr. Barnaby. Good night, Mr. Dunn. <laughs> you can go to bed now. Thank you, Mr. Dunn. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you. Good night. Good night. Good night, Ollie. Good night, Sandy. Oh. Danny Dumb have been found guilty of burglary. They will be ducked and thereafter exiled to bogey land forever. Good night, Ollie. Your Majesty, what are we waiting for? Oh, oh yes. Proceed with the ducking! <laughs> Come on. Your first. Come on. Ollie. What? Here. You better give me your watch. I'll hold it for you till you come out. Thanks. Now take good care of it because I wouldn't have anything happen to that for the world. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Come on. All right. Consent to become my wife, and they will go free. All right, Mr. Barnaby. I consent. With your majesty's permission, I wish to withdraw my charge. Withdrawn they shall be. <laughs> Friends of Toyland, I want you all to meet 
the future Mrs. Silas Barnaby. You may go. Thank you, sir. Does that mean we're free? Yes. And from now on, you and I are going to be very close friends. Does that mean that he doesn't have to be dunked? Yes. Isn't that nice? What? He and I are just like that. And I don't have to get wet. Oh, is that so? <laughs> 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 Is your watch. <laughs> Gunnels and tell the bride that all is in readiness and her lover is waiting. Mumsy, what did Tom Tom say? He understands. Now, you see, if you hadn't said good night, Ollie, this wouldn't have happened. Where are you going, Mother Peep? I'm going over to Barnaby to make a final plea. Surely there must be one spark of kindness in that stony old heart of his. That's a good idea. But I don't think it'll do any good. You're right, Ollie. You can't turn blood into a stone. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? Well, her talking to Barnaby is just a matter of pouring one ear into another and coming out the other side. It can't be done. I'm sorry, Bo Peep, that you had to choose me for the best man. Why, I'd rather do anything in this world than to have to give you away. Well, Stan is so upset. He's not even going to the wedding. You are upset, aren't you? Upset? I'm housebroken. Not housebroken. He means heartbroken. Housebroken. Uh. Coming. Mr. Barnaby. Don't force my daughter into this dreadful marriage. I'm an old woman pleading for her daughter's happiness. Oh, don't do this dreadful thing. Mr. Barnaby, I'll do anything you ask. Work for you, slave for you. Only don't. Please, don't. Woman, you're a fool. The bargain's made, you'll abide by it. Master, the bride is here. Oh. Welcome to Barnaby Hall. Stop at door. Come, Judge. Let's waste no time. Have you the ring? Your name is Silas Barnaby. It is. And your name is Little Bo Peep. It is. Do you take this woman for your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And do you take this man for your lawfully wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. And now, to kiss the bride. Just a moment. Haven't you forgotten something, Mr. Barnaby? Oh, yes, the morning. <laughs> My wedding morning. Now, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? <laughs> big bait catches big rat. <laughs> the king shall hear of this. <laughs>
That sure was a good idea of yours. It certainly was. <laughs> well, goodbye and good luck. What do you mean, goodbye? I'm not going with you. Why, no. You have to stay here with Barnaby. You're married to him. I don't want to stay here with him. Why? I don't love him. Oh. <laughs> if he ever did. Oh. <laughs> well, don't worry. Old Barnaby will never bother us again. Because I'm going to take you away. Where? Oh, we. a nice, red, juicy apple. I'll steal one of the three little pigs. And the evidence will be placed in Tom Tom's house. You know the penalty for pig napping? Banishment to bogey land. <laughs> in Tom Tom's house. Master, why the sausage? That will prove that he not only stole the pig, but that he also ground him into sausage. And now, little Elba, <laughs> we shall see. Piper has been found guilty of big 
nothing. He will be immediately banished to Bogeyland. Poor Tom Tom. I'm sure glad we didn't have to go to Bogeyland. So am I. What happens to you in Bogeyland? Oh, it's a terrible place. Once you go there, you never come back. Why? Well, when the bogeyman gets you, they eat you alive. What does he look like? Well, I've heard that they're half man and half animal. With great big ears and a great big mouth and hair all over their body. And long claws that they catch you with. Tom, my boy, you knew the penalty for pig napping. Why did you do it? But I didn't do it. I don't even know what you're talking about. How can you say that in view of this evidence found in your house? Take it away. Your Majesty, you've made a horrible mistake. Tom Tom knows nothing about this. He's been with me all day, hasn't he, Monty? That's right, Your Majesty. Why not let the law take its course, Your Majesty? No. What's that until I come back? What does that mean? Exhibit B. That means that the pig sausage is part of the evidence. Doesn't taste like pig sausage to me. What does it taste like? Tastes like pork. Try it. Well, that's neither pig nor pork. It's beef. Beef? I smell a rat. Barnaby's got a hand in that. I believe that little Elmer is still alive. Come on, we'll find out. You've got to listen to me, Your Majesty. You've got to hear me. Tom Tom knows nothing about this. The little pigs were friends of ours. Why should he want to hurt? The violin and hat were in the house and we got home. He's innocent, I tell you. Innocent. It is with deep regret that I have to enforce the law of our kingdom. Take him away. Oh. Child, for fun, wasting your affection on a common pig Let me go, let me go. Tom Tom is innocent and you know it. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Just a minute, just a minute. Silence! Mr. Majesty, Tom Tom is innocent. We found little Elma in Barnaby's cellar. Let's check it. Let's go. 
scoundrel, dead or alive? Dead or alive? Dead or alive? Can't you make up your mind which way you want him? Take me to my power. Let's go around the back way. We'll get him. All right, Mr. Barnaby, there's no use hiding. We know where you are. You better come up, because if you don't, we're going to stay right here until you do. Even if it takes all night. Are we going to stay here all night? No. We're going to make him think we are. something to do with this. Oh, if I ever get my hands on him. Come on, we'll find our way out of here. Oh, Tom, Tom, we'll never find our way out of here. Oh, yes, we will. Come on. Did he come up? Shh, no. Are you coming up? You better come up dead or alive. Now, how can he come up dead when he's alive? Let's drop a rock on him, then, then we'll make him dead when he's alive. Now you're talking sense. Look out! Don't tell him to look out. Well, it might have hit him. That's what I wanted to do. 
Did it hit you? Not a sound. It must have got him. Go down and bring him up. You go down and bring him up. Do you mean to tell me that you're going to let 50,000 guineas slip right through your fingers? Well, I'm scared. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. You and he are just like that. Well, that was before we were married. All right. I'll compromise. We'll both go down. That's better. Go ahead. I can see he's not here. Oh, look. Maybe he went through this way. I bet he did. Let's go see. I wonder where they went. We'll soon find out. Let's go that way. Stand 
back. Here comes the king. Why all the commotion? Have you no reverence for my beauty sleep? Sorry, Your Majesty, but we were celebrating the rescue of Tom Tom and Bogey from Bogey Land. Yeah. Splendid news! And who had the courage to do this? They did. Oh. Did you get Barnaby? No, sir. He was running so fast, we couldn't catch him. No, sir. He was scared to death, <laughs> wasn't he? He sure was. Well, tell me all about it. <laughs>
the wooden soldiers. 